Alright, I'm going to try and do this and learn it, should I say, with you. So, this will be interesting. I got the video playing now. Here we go. <laughs> but just kind of uh, go with this from there. Now, out of our big block of wax here, we're not going to need to cover our whole head. Now, for the final project, Going too fast, Mr. Johnson. Okay. Uh, 
and that gives us our prominent bone structure of our orbital area. So that's what we're going to work on now is our upper orbital area and our orbital eye socket. Okay. So over time, I don't like to work with a lot of uh, um, wax from the get-go because I can make it go further. This is where we start learning, you know, on everything that was applied beforehand, especially with uh, on our facial features. <coughs> and then we start, once we get it done, then we start uh, adding to it and start doing like, uh, what we need to look like. Okay. So I just start, you know, smoothing it out, smoothing it in. Um, making sure that the wax goes as far as it can. Oh shit, we gotta go in the eyeball. <laughs> now you can see I'm not building out the eye socket area. Um, yet, because I need to get these other parts done first. Um, when we start modeling the eye, um, then I will start doing the, the eye orbital area. And that will, once we get all the rest of it done, then we're going to start working on that. <coughs> Might make some changes to the lecture portion on um, regards to ecchymosis. Because not everybody has their tools and they haven't been able to practice yet, and that's an important thing that we need to we, we need to have done. So there will be probably some changes that are going to be coming. Um, I know President Cavender has been out of town. Uh, he emailed me last week, wanting to discuss the final project, and got back into town with the uh, Mr. Wilhelm, who I believe is your restorative art instructor. Nope. Nope, he's not. And then I do the lab portion. Okay, so you can see here we're starting to get it to look better here. I'm going to just work on this other temporal area um, so you can see this. And this is where, you know, the, you're looking at your side views of your head, of the photos that you're, you're using for the people that you're doing. Now on the final project, what I'm going to be looking for on the final project <coughs> is you notice that on the grading, I've been giving you feedback of what uh, you can work on, on the, when we get to this final project. And I'm going to be looking for things that are going to be um, My thumbs are hurting so bad. The homework from the comments um, that were given, such as line of closures that might be a little bit off. Um, they're not in the lower third, you know. So those are some things that I'm looking for, is that you're uh, taking that, that feedback and applying what you're learning. So then that way, you're able to, uh, to improve on your skills. and enjoy this part because this is the fun part of, of restored large is actually building something really close to building something out of nothing if you will <coughs> you're taking uh, what you've learned and you're starting to apply it into uh, your thing that you're building okay so as you can see here, let me just get this side done of the nose down into the zygomatic uh, bone area. And you don't have to worry too much about smoothing it all out because you'll get to that point at the end of making things look like um, your loved one or whoever you're doing it using. Okay, so you can see here 
grab in here is starting to look <coughs> like it, like a, you know, it's sculpting model. So we have our sides. Like I said, we want to smooth it out. I'll show you how the way to smooth it out with the solvent, so you can get rid of crinkles. I mean, crinkles, wrinkles. Um, when they're not supposed to be. We'll show you how to add um, natural facial markings. So you'll have that. So it's starting to look like who it's supposed to be. Same thing, going around this side, down on this side, okay? So we have our um, facial features here. For our temporal area, so here's our temporal area. And then we have our forehead, and then we have our orbital sockets. Now, as you can see, my eyes are a little bit slightly off. This one's a little bit more rounded than this one. The reason for that is, is because I added just a little bit more wax on the side. And you can see with me pushing it out, it changes that a little bit. Now, I can add the same thing to this side by just pushing it up inside the eye socket, pulling it up, and then I start removing it. So, over time, I will have a looking the same. You can see. All right, let's go ahead and build our submandibular area and our jaw. And we can really start forming um, our face here. So what I like to do, you can see this little um, concave indent here. I just like to take a big chunk of wax that's like this, and I just put it in there. Just like so. And then what I do is I just push on that wax, and I just start filling it in. And this is another area where you have fatty deposits of tissue. So you have that in your you know, through your face. A little bit less there. You can see the, the white, the plastic skull underneath. Let me just fix that. that. So you can see that. Okay. Now you can see it coming out a little bit. So, I just continue to take more of the wax. <coughs> now, depending upon, you know, your, uh, your photo, you may have to really build out this side. You might have to come, you know, really far. So, let me take my spatula. You may have to come out, like, this far, depending upon, you know, the what you've been, what photo you're working on, how, what does your face look like? So you're going to have to pay attention to that, okay? So we need to need us some more uh, wax here. Then we're going to start oh. on this side. We're going to start, um, actually what I wanted to do is do this a little bit and get it so that it's, um, not so it looks like a piece has just been added on there. Now you can get a little uh, fluff of something in my wax. It's one thing that you have to watch out for. It will flux some stuff when it's getting into your wax. Yeah, like dog hair. All right. So let's begin here again. We're just going to go right here. Let me start building our... Um, masseter muscle and they're, they're on top of the ramus bone here. today is we're just covering the whole entire um, area with wax. 
um, today. And then next week, we're really going to start uh, building our facial features onto our head. So it will show us uh, how it's going to, to work. tools so you're okay there um, <coughs> so you'll be able to, to continue to uh, work on this and then as soon as I know something from the school I will uh, pass that on to you so make sure you do your your chin area underneath some of your photos, somebody may have a double chin. Make sure you add that to your to your project when you're after you get things done. Some might have a little bit fuller chin. Some might have a more pointed chin. Um, some may have dimples. Make sure you add all those. We're going to be talking about facial markings here in a little uh, a little while. for your uh, facial features when you're doing your facial features. So don't make it too uh, too thick where you don't have enough to wax. So as you can see, we're starting to make it look um, better. Um, so we have those. This little pointy bone right here, you can see this is your bone that you have inside of your nose. And I remember when I took my national board exam, and the, the it had a um, question about the bomber and how it was supposed to uh, be. So you're going to see here in your skull, um, it's going to go pushed back in a little bit. Now don't bring that all the way out because you're going to need that for this area here. That's going to be your mouth. Okay. So you don't want to uh, just putting wax in to cover it. Uh, you don't want to put, you know, fill it all in. Oh, there's an indent there. Well, you had an indent there for purpose. It is so you can have placement for your for your lips um, when we do those. So we'll just bring this out. starting to look like we're going to be having a, a little bit of a face <coughs> filling this in. And then we're going to redo all of our facial features again. Remember when we do our mouths, our mouths are two, two uh, eyes wide. Our width of our face of our nose is one eye wide. 
and mm. our ear is the same length as our nose. For placement wise on our skulls, our mouth is in the lower one third of our face. So it's a breakup in thirds. We go face of the chin, face of the nose, face of the chin, to the to the uh, eyebrow arches. There's another third, so our nose and our eyes are in the middle third, and then the other one third is there. So you have those. So we need to be, you know, be aware of those. So then that way we can adjust what we need to adjust for our projects here. And if you're adding face, uh, like a mustache or a goatee or anything, I'll show you how to do that in the wax. That is just by using your spatula, and you can able to do that. Now this area up here will fill in when we do our um, upper and pubicular lip, <coughs> and then this area down here will fill in with our lower and pubicular lip. So we have those, so it will work out really well. So it's beginning to look like a, um, a face here. One thing I need to do now, a little bit, is I need to put a little bit more wax, which I'm going to put into my right eye socket. It's a little bit deep in there, so I'm just going to uh, build that out just a little bit, kind of match the other side. So. just so that it's a little bit easier. So you can see that there. Same thing with this side. And then, when I go put the eye on, it will uh, be a little bit easier, as you can see. Okay, there, around my little nose bridge there, so it's not so bad. Okay, so as you can see, we're starting to look like uh, we have our face here. Now I'm just going to fill in this area here, and then uh, we'll be able to uh, create next week our nose, our eyes, get those added on. Now this part I'm not too worried about if I don't have it completely all covered with uh, wax because when I place the knot, the name, the nose on, it's going to come out a little bit and then it's going to get covered. But I need to at least see where, as you can see there, I need to see where my nose goes. And so I need to nose uh, goes. have that out. So this is what you would be doing this week and last week because I was not feeling well. I couldn't uh, talk or else I'd cough and like I've been doing today. A little bit. So hopefully I'll be able to get feeling better. Okay, so you can see here we have our head, we have our face. I'm going to take my little remaining wags here and I'm going to keep building up on this side so I can start building for the nose. So yeah, just start filling it in. Make sure it looks good, it works. Um, make, you, know, you don't have to worry about smoothing it out now oh. because we will take care of that later. One thing that I like to do is and you can use it with a tool as soon as you get one or you can just use your fingertip. Mm. 
find your where your external auditory hiatus is going to be again. And this one, it's already covered with uh, wax. So you just take that down, and you can actually build around it if you choose to do so. Or you can take a stick, a tool, and do it. Um, like so. So you can you can see it there. Because that will help you with placement of your beer. So you have that. Okay. So hopefully you can see that external auditory meatus there. It is right there. I would recommend that you make that and then when you place your ear on, it will work that way. Um, okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, and uh, we can go, we can talk about it. And then uh, next week, we'll start building on our eyes, really defining our face, and after you do all this, you should have about that much flat. This wax will be used for our facial features. Um, we need to have plenty of wax for that. <laughs> we don't want to run short on our facial features. And then if we don't, we need to probably start uh, looking at our thickness of our of our face here. So as you can see, I haven't done the eye, the ear on this side, but I will do that right now. So it matches the other side. That. Especially around our external auditorium meters that we like that I like to leave open. <coughs> so I have a, a good placement for um, my ear. Now your ear, like I said, is the same size as your nose. And your ear sets sits not set, sits on the exact same plane as um, your nose and in the same angle of the nose, okay? The top of the ear is no taller than the superciliary arches right here. And the base of your nose is where your ear lobe is, okay? So you have that. And it's at the same angle. It's not straight up and down, it's at the same angle, so you have that. If you have enough wax after you're done with everything, you can build the neck if you'd like um, and make it more complete if you choose to do so. So this is where we should be at at today, the end of today. So you can see here we have a nice base for our mouth. We have our nose here that's going to let us still be able to add our nose. You can see where that's going to be. You can see where our mouth is going to be through the indent, and then you can see where our eyes are, and we'll work on those um, next week. So this is where we're at today. Remember, by Sunday, you need to have the photo for the forehead, the temporal areas, and our orbital sockets done. And then uh, for the following week, you need to have your submandibular area, your um, jaw, your cheek, all that needs to be done. So we will be moving fairly quickly in this part, but like I said, a lot of this you can do without tools, so you're you're okay there. Okay, you have a great week, and as soon as I hear from the school in regards to those of you who do not have your tools yet, I will uh, reach out and let everybody know. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye bye.